Hey Framily, welcome back to the channel. Before we dive back into the crazy theories and mind-blowing mysteries of Fram, I wanted to take a moment to give a huge shout out to all the new subscribers who've joined the channel recently. A big thank you to everyone leaving comments, sharing your thoughts, and engaging in awesome discussions. I love that we can have different interpretations and even disagree about theories without using keyboard thuggery. Respectful debate and open-mindedness are what makes this community so special. Now, to those keyboard thugs out there, I hope your day gets better. Remember, an idea never leaves its source. If you know where that quote comes from, drop it in the comments. But seriously, let's spread some positivity and light. Respond with a heart emoji whenever you see an inappropriate or distasteful comment. We all deserve a little love and attention, even those who seem lost in the darkness. All right, enough with the serious stuff. Let's get back to the la la land of theories, the nonsense, the you're reaching moments that make from so much fun to dissect. Are you ready to dive back into the mysteries Today, of the town? Today, we're diving deep into the woods of Fromm to explore a theory that's been branching out in my mind. What if there are more types of trees than we initially thought? And what if they're all connected to the character's trauma in a deeper way than we ever imagined? In my video, Can Ethan Unlock the Secret to Escape? In the From Season 3, Episode 5 breakdown, I discuss four types of trees. The bottle trees, the faraway trees, the bottle faraway tree, and the trees that make up the forest. Let's check out that clip. Faraway trees, bottle trees, bottle faraway tree, oh my. First, the enigmatic bottle tree is laden with messages hinting at a deeper connection between the residents and the controlling forces. Second, the faraway tree, with its gaping maw, acts as a portal to unknown realms, representing the unpredictable nature of the town's power. Then there's the faraway tree with bottles, a hybrid that suggests a link between the messages and the destinations, hinting at a deeper level of manipulation. Finally, the seemingly ordinary regular trees form the unsettling backdrop, contributing to the atmosphere of isolation and claustrophobia, perhaps holding hidden significance yet to be revealed. We all know about the faraway trees, those ominous portals to the unknown, and the bottle trees, with their cryptic messages and potential for manipulation. But what about the tree in the road? That appears only when someone's reached a breaking point. That is the fifth type of tree, a manifestation of the trauma tree. I discussed in the Unraveling the Mystery of the Boy in White from Season 3 Theory video. Remember how the roots of the trauma tree represent our deepest wounds and experiences? Well, when those roots snap, the tree in the road appears. It's like the town itself is saying, you're not going anywhere until you confront your pain. In the twisted reality of From, where the lines between the physical and psychological are blurred, it seems the town has the power to make thoughts and feelings tangible. Here's how I connect this to the trauma tree. Roots of trauma. The trauma tree diagram depicts roots representing life experiences that affect our mental and emotional health. In From, these roots could symbolize the character's past traumas, often rooted in childhood. Victor witnessing the 1978 massacre, Ethan's leg injury, Sarah killing her brother, Elgin's terrifying dream that caused him to vomit. We also learned that Tabitha, in Season 3, Episode 6, had nightmares that included the three red stones and effigies. These are the deep-seated traumas that form the foundation of their experiences in the town. When the roots of the trauma tree snap, it signifies a breaking point, a moment of crisis. In From... This could be represented by the tree that mysteriously appears in the road, blocking the character's path and forcing them to confront their trauma. Each character who first encountered that tree, Tabitha for the Matthews family, Abby for Boyd's family, Sarah for herself and her brother, and possibly Kenny in the car with his parents had reached a critical point in their emotional journey. We will call the tree in the road the mirror tree. Why call it the mirror tree? Well, I believe this name perfectly captures its symbolic significance in From. Here's a deeper look. Reflection of self. The mirror tree appears when a character reaches a breaking point, a moment of crisis where they can no longer ignore their inner turmoil. It's like the town is forcing them to confront their deepest fears, their hidden truths, and the unresolved traumas that haunt them. The tree acts as a mirror reflecting their inner selves back at them, Confrontation with the shadow self. In psychology, the shadow self refers to the hidden aspects of our personality, the parts we repress or deny. The mirror tree could symbolize a confrontation with this shadow self, forcing the characters to acknowledge their flaws, their darkness, and the parts of themselves they'd rather keep hidden. 
a portal to self-discovery. While this confrontation can be painful and terrifying, it's also an opportunity for growth and transformation. By facing their reflections in the mirror tree, the characters can gain a deeper understanding of themselves, their motivations, and their potential for change. It's a portal to self-discovery, a necessary step on the journey towards healing and liberation. The distortion of reality mirrors can also distort images, creating a distorted reflection of reality. This aligns with the town's ability to manipulate perceptions and create illusions. The mirror tree could represent this distortion, challenging the character's sense of reality and forcing them to question what is real and what is a fabrication of the town's power. Breaking through the illusion to pass the mirror tree, the characters must confront their reflections, acknowledge their truths, and ultimately break through the illusions that the town has created. This could involve accepting their past traumas, forgiving themselves, or finding a renewed sense of purpose and resilience. The mirror tree is a powerful symbol in From, representing a pivotal moment in the character's journeys. But here's where it gets really interesting. What if each type of tree in From corresponds to a different aspect of the trauma tree? Regular trees, these represent the everyday experiences and challenges that shape our lives, the soil in which our trauma tree grows. Bottle trees, these symbolize the bottled up emotions and secrets we carry, the hidden knots within the trunk of our trauma tree. Far away trees, these are like the branches that reach out in different directions, representing the unpredictable paths our trauma can lead us down. The tree in the road, this signifies the breaking point, the moment when our roots can no longer support the weight of our trauma. The boy in white, he's the branch of intuition and resilience that helps us navigate the darkness and find a way to heal. The town in From is a master manipulator, preying on the character's vulnerabilities and using their trauma against them. But by understanding the language of the trees, by confronting their pain and finding their inner strength, maybe they can break free from the town's grasp and find a way to heal. What do you think of this theory, Fromily? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more From Breakdowns theories and deep dives into the show's mysteries. All right, ding dongs, it's almost go time. Anybody fucks this up, you spend a night in the box. No one is going in the box. Whatever, hey, that's you out, would you? Okay. Anybody wants it? Help yourselves. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha!